Welcome back. The city of Liverpool is definitely one of our big boxing hotbeds. And it now plays host to a heavyweight prospect who many are getting excited about. Olympic gold medalist Anthony Joshua with his seventh pro outing and toughest test to date. He faces the highly experienced and former British, Commonwealth and European champion and also world title challenger in Matt Skelton. Let's get to the MC, John McDonald. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, AJ Anthony Joshua! champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynch is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody as good. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like I'm from Nair Claw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. Inspired by the words of Mike Tyson, here comes Anthony A.J. Joshua, Olympic gold medalist, future superstar in the heavyweight division, perhaps. Well, he's certainly looked terrific so far. Six fights, six wins, all of them inside two rounds. He's closely scrutinized. Everything he does inside the ring and outside the ring is closely observed. There's a real feeling that he is a serious, serious contender of major honors on the heavyweight stage and so far he's done everything that's asked of him still improving jim obviously but so much to get excited about yeah early days of course it is but this is the first time that anthony has got into face an opponent who has a reputation so anthony has to realize and tell himself i'm fighting the man not the reputation but matt skelton is experienced he knows how to make young fighters make mistakes he knows how to, to upset the rhythm he can spoil you know he knows all the tricks we don't know at the age of 47 how much he has left, but uh, he deserves respect. Is he just back here to pick up a couple of bob, but does he think you know, he can score a sensational victory? I don't know, probably the former, but he deserves respect, and I'm sure Anthony Joshua will give him that respect. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the heavyweight division. Six rounds of boxing, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the burgundy trunks, trimmed with white, weighing in at 17 stone, one pounds. 36 fight record, 28 wins, 23 inside the scheduled distance, and just eight defeats comes to the ring as the former British, Commonwealth, and European heavyweight champion and world title challenger. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bedford Bear, Matt Skelter! And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner in the black trunks trimmed with gold, weighing in a 17 stone, one pound, 11 ounces. Undefeated, six contests, six wins, all inside the scheduled distance. Coming to the ring as the two-time ABA champion and the winner of the 2012 Olympic gold medal. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a member of the British Empire, it's AJ Anthony Joshua! Time to go is Gary Grennan, our referee in charge of the action is Mr. Steve Gray. This is six three-minute rounds. Okay, boys, have a cold break. You stop punching and take a step back. Don't let any of your punches go around the back of the head. And most importantly, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Touch. <laughs> Matt Skilton just getting told off there. And not touching gloves. Just an amiable laid-back guy with real charisma about him, Anthony Joshua. Get him in the ring. The game face comes on. Matt Skelton who has not been in a ring for 16 months when he went the distance with John McDermott in a losing effort. Before that, lasted just two rounds against David Price. But we remember two and a half years ago or so, he was pitched in with another prospect, Tom Dallas, who was obviously nowhere near the kind of level of expectation that we get with Joshua. And he upset Tom Dallas, he bullied him and bored him. 
And he's obviously not going to be intimidated here. And Steve Gray, the referee, is not going to be intimidated either. And he's calming everything down. Well, at least he's coming out of respectable weight. Uh, that, you know, so, so he's got himself, you would imagine, in some sort of shape. So that would suggest he's going to give this a bit of a go. And he does no tricks. And he's going to be throwing some punches if this goes any distance that uh, Joshua hasn't had to oh, deal with. Look at this. It's normally... Matt Skelton that's doing the bullying and the pushing over the ropes and Joshua letting the old boy know right here that he is going to be the governor physically. You're not going to intimidate Joshua. That was the message right there. I think that the Joshua jab is important here. He wants to keep this fellow off him. He wants to keep him at, at long range, just as he's doing here. That good stuff. That's good. Skelton took that one. So, yeah, Skelton has certainly not come to lie down. He said he's got ambitions. And obviously, a win here would just totally reignite his career as unexpected as that would be and he's still a, a bit a little bit too clumsy uh, skeleton you can see him walking right on to something but uh, he's hoping that maybe he can get his own bomb home first but uh, you know he's, he's, he's kind of stumbling in to joshua which is dangerous matt leg tried that on the frotch groves two undercard at wembley stadium he came out throwing bombs oh he got a right hand in there skeleton and that didn't last too long because Matt left himself open throwing those bombs and was dispatched in 83 seconds. That is Joshua's quickest win. Skelton getting caught there as well. And he's landed a couple of shots here, the 47-year-old. Yeah, Joshua wants to step in towards him with that jab. He doesn't want to be backing up. That that suits Skelton. He wants to bulldoze for that's it. As you, you want Skelton on the back foot as soon as you can do it. That's a terrific jab that Joshua has. He was seven years old now, but didn't touch pro until he was 35. Matt Skelton, a martial arts background, kickboxing primarily. It's been a little bit obvious with what he's doing, Skelton. You know, you see the head going down, the forehead goes down, so you know he's going to swing the right hand over. And Joshua just stepping back away from him. He can see what's coming. There you go again. Fight from Joshua. Oh, great shot. Oh, Skelton took that and has a big grin on his face. If say, if that's the best you got, I can take it. First warning sign from Anthony Joshua. And there's another one. This is good stuff from Joshua. Keeping cool. This is clever. Just catching in there as they went for a, a little dance. A dancing bear got caught right on the bell there. Good stuff. Pressure, pressure, pressure. When you're inside, throw more bombs. Don't doubt yourself. Stop doubting yourself. You can hear that. Don't doubt yourself. Believe in yourself. They're telling Skelton in his corner. Well, that's what I was saying. He's facing a man with a reputation tonight, but I didn't see any signs that he was overly respectful. I thought he, he boxed really well in the opening. That was a terrific right hand. Skelton just said they said to laugh about it, but it was a good shot. Can't take too many of those. Round two, Anthony Joshua in the black with the gold trim, facing the most experienced opponent he's been in with. And what a body work Matt Skelton's put together in his 12 years as a pro. That's where Joshua wants to be on the front foot, pushing Skelton back. Skelton's a problem when he's coming forward, he can rumble forward. Put him on the back foot, you take away most of what he's got. Three boys, come on, work. A bit messy in there. For holding for Skelton. Joshua just out of range, just regroups. A lot of fainting and parrying going on in there at the moment. Solid jab from Joshua. Yeah, that's a good jab. He wants to develop that. You know, a huge heavyweight athletic with a good jab can go all the way. He's doing well here, he's keeping his cool, just taking his time. That good, good right hand again. He followed up with a left immediately, and Skelton took it very well. Andy Moore knows can he take the, the legs wobbled there off that right hand. There comes the spearing jab again, right hand over the top from Joshua. And Skelton is feeling this. Body shot mixed into the, the onslaught as well. Skelton loves to swarm and spoil, just unable to swarm all over Joshua. 
see, he doesn't have any timing, uh, Skelton, you know, I mean, at uh, 47, he's got his weight down, you know, he's in some sort of shape, but the timing isn't there. You know, he really he hasn't really landed anything solidly so far. Now, that was just a kind of cumbersome pawing punch, but quite the opposite from Joshua. Slipped inside there. Skelton as Joshua looked to land the right hand, but he's taking his time and measuring it up, and that right hand did the damage. He just waited to pull the trigger on that right hand, and that little split second might have done for Matt Skelton. Because when it landed, it was perfect. Up at nine, is Steve Gray going to let this carry on? 35 seconds left in the round. Is it going to be another inside two rounds for Joshua, who takes his time, measures him up again. Skelton's all over the place. Steve Gray says that's it. Matt Skelton sinks to his haunches. He was destroyed by that right hand. He's done it again. Seven out of seven inside two rounds. OK, Joshua's won a fight. We expect them to win. But again, you have to be impressed with the manner they went about it. Hardly took a decent shot from Skelton. OK, Skelton, 47 years of age. But uh, he was throwing leather, but uh, Joshua's tactics were perfect. The jab worked really well all the way through. And he set up the big right hand that finished the job. Skelton got back on his feet again because of his experience. Probably ref referee Steve Gray allowed him to continue. But within a couple of seconds, he could see there was no point, And he was ready to step in. And that's what he did. But that was good work from Anthony Joshua, as I say, facing a man with a reputation. And he just blasted him out of there. I just love the way he measured that right hand. Let's look at some of the re action from earlier in the round as uh, he started to pour it on. See, this is where he decided to take charge a little bit more. You know, he, he was having a good look in the opening round, uh, paying Skelton a little bit of respect as he's due. But then he up to pace. I think he realised when he put Skelton onto the back foot, he took away most of what he had. And you could see him looking for the huge right hand. And there you go. Over he goes. Don't think it was maybe the best right hand that Josh has ever landed, but it was good enough to do the job. See, that was a kind of glancing blow. That seemed to come off the shoulder, and then the, the shorter right hand to follow up was a shorter, jolting right hand. But it just shows you that the power that Joshua possesses, that's terrific. And then you could see the power. You know, it was, it was the body language that convinced Steve Gray. What was the point? And no argument from Matt Skelton. Oh, yeah, he was on the way down here, wasn't he? And as you say, no argument at all. He knew immediately. He'd given it his best shot. And as six before him had found out, that best shot, not good enough. Not against a man who really does look destined for something special. We'll be seeing him in action next month once again. I'm sure it's uh, exciting times ahead for Anthony Joshua. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Gary Grennan has recorded a time of 2 minutes and 33 seconds of the second round. Matt Skelton in no position to continue, therefore your winner. And still undefeated. Taking the record to 7, with 7, all inside the scheduled distance, it's AJ Anthony Joshua! A very, very popular win here in Liverpool. Yes, sir, he just gets fans on his side wherever he goes. Liverpool, no exception. And the uh, the talk is that he may be boxing in Dublin next month. They're talking about the Ukrainian Yaroslav Zavarotny, who uh, recently went 10 rounds with David Price. So definitely has some durability, and that's what they're going to need to find for AJ. He keeps bombing these fellas out of there. Matt Skelton going the way of all previous opponents of AJ. Gone inside two rounds well a good name on the record stopping Matt Skelton the crowd seemed to enjoy it did you yeah 100% uh, no negatives about boxing I love the sport and uh, I was looking forward to getting in there mixing it up again that's out of the way back to the gym look forward to August 30th now in Dublin Matt Skelton's a veteran it's quite difficult to box isn't he a little bit awkward at times yeah definitely um, I wish I had him when he was at like, European level, do you know what I mean? Uh, but eventually, I'll get there and I'll be fighting guys that were at his level. Um, but definitely a good name on the record. Not much point in boxing. Guys that I'm going to be knocking over all the time. Matt came game, don't get me wrong.
you know, and uh, the game plan works, stuck to my jab, relaxing, each fight I'm learning, and if I keep on progressing, I'll keep on getting them uh, second round, first round knockouts. You seemed to miss with the first right hand, but that gave you the angle for the second, and you didn't see it coming. Yeah, well, I've got eight rounds, six rounds to, to get my range, do you know what I mean? So, if I can miss with two out of a hundred, I'm not complaining. Motor de Hearn, what's next? It's just so exciting, Ed. You know, we're going to go to Dublin uh, August the 30th and fight Zab Rotney, who just took David Price 10 rounds. So it's a, it's a great step up for him. It's a great pri fight for him. But just so exciting for British boxing. What you're seeing is the evolution of the next heavyweight champion in the world. I have no doubt this boy is going all the way. And uh, he's a humble man. The country should get behind him because he's 100% dedicated to the sport. He's a role model. And he's going to be huge for British boxing and British sport. And see Joshua is going all the way. Well done to the team.